let's just start things off with positioning data from last week. We saw the net long dollar positioning increase by around 2 billion, net short euro by over 6K contracts, and the net short JPY increased by around just under 2K contracts, and net short GBP positioning was around 3K contracts. The jobs numbers out on Friday, headline quite a significant beat, and we saw average hourly earnings slight beat, but the dollar actually rallied and then puked back some of its gains. Dollar's stronger this morning, um, it's on a better footing. Uh, and the Atlanta Fed GDP now uh, revised up their forecast for quarter two at negative 1.2% as opposed to negative 2.1% previously. Uh, US CPI is the marquee event for this week. The market's expecting 8.8% to the headline level and 5.8% at core. I think a number north of 9% would make things quite interesting. NASDAQ, gold, US dollar JPY and dollar exposures would be one to watch and then vice versa for a number below 8.5%. Uh, Friday, we get re US retail sales and the University of Michigan consumer inflation expectations. We know this is important for the Fed. It formed part of their 75 basis point hike decision at the previous meeting. Um, in terms of the euro, it's trading heavy, uh, very still close to parity calls for that. Growing louder, we'll hear from Chief, uh, we'll hear from the ECB's Hawk, Nachel, uh, today. And then on Tuesday, we get ZEW Economic Sentiment Index. We'll see if sentiment soured further on the euro. Um, Bruno Le Maire of the weekend finance minister actually said the most likely case now is for cutoff of Russian gas. We start that 10 day maintenance from Nord Stream uh, today and we'll see if Russia decides to turn back on the gas. In the UK, Rishi Sunak, Penny Mordaunt, Liz Truss continue to be the top three candidates in the betting markets. Um, we actually saw over the weekend Michael Gove back to uh, Kemi Badenoch, uh, that's a wild card. We hear from Bailey on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we get GDP data from the UK on Wednesday. Uh, we also start US quarter two earnings season on Thursday. The banks kick things off. JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, City and Wells Fargo. Trade the opportunity with Pepperstone.